word no longer no matter how long it takes reporting live in manchester ray brewer wmur news nine all right ray thank you so much and new hampshire's congressional delegation is also giving strong reaction to the news of osama bin laden's death earlier this morning congressman frank inta joins us joined us live in our studio and he told us how he thinks bin laden's death could affect the war We've got to stay vigilant. Uh, I think, again, this is a, an important day for Americans, uh, particularly for those who lost lives on 9-11 all throughout our country. Uh, and we'll make sure that you know, we keep those people uh, really in our hearts and, and minds today. But we'll make sure that this is just the beginning of uh, uh, the end for al-Qaeda and any other terrorist network around the world. And joining us live on the phone right now is Senator Jean Shaheen. Senator, thanks for joining us this morning. And I'm wondering if you can get your reaction and have you spoken to any of the families of 9-11 victims? Well, I haven't yet, but this is certainly a victory for the American people. It's a victory for our men and women in the military. And justice has finally been done for all of the victims of 9-11 and their families. We should congratulate all of those people who were involved in this operation. They were courageous, they went in, they got it done, no, no Americans were injured or killed, and um, today is a very good day in America. Now, there is a word that uh, security is being beefed up uh, in Port Authority in New York and also New Jersey, uh, security being beefed up uh, elsewhere around the country. Are we more safe now, or will there be a retaliatory effort here? Well, that remains to be seen, but there's no doubt that the fight against terrorism goes on. This is a boost for our men and women serving in Afghanistan, but clearly we're expecting uh, the Taliban to engage in major operations, a spring offensive as the weather has gotten better there, um, and we all have to remain vigilant. But this is a big victory today, and hopefully it sends a message to all of those who would attack the United States, that we will come after you and eventually justice will be done. He was found in a luxury hideout in Pakistan, Senator. Uh, what do you have to say about Pakistan? Did they know he was there? Um, well, I haven't gotten details yet, as um, I think most of us in America are waiting to see just how the operation unfolded. My understanding is there were, uh, there was cooperation from some Pakistanis. That's where the original tip came from last fall that's allowed us to track Osama bin Laden to his hideout. So I, I think this was an operation, however, that was conducted um, by Americans because of the need for secrecy. Senator Jean Shaheen, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Well, it's exciting to see the celebration in this country, knowing that um, the evil that's Osama bin Laden is now gone. Thank you, Senator. And Senator Kelly Ayotte also issued a statement on this surprising news. She says, quote, this is a great day for our country and a major blow to al-Qaeda and terrorist networks around the globe. I join all Americans in expressing profound gratitude to our brave servicemen and women, as well as America's intelligence community, for ensuring that bin Laden can no longer harm our country. And, of course, this news is also hitting home for people who lost friends and family in the aftermath of 9-11 attacks and for those who continue to fight for our country. And Adam Harding has that. He's in our newsroom. Well, Aaron, after 9-11, there was a definite level of unity all across the country. And in the last eight, nine hours or so, that unity is once again felt from coast to coast, from the West Coast all the way to the East Coast, ever since the president did confirm that Osama...